Migrating from VMware to Hyper-V can be required in some scenarios, and Microsoft made a handy tool called Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter to help us achieve the goal. In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to convert VMware VMDK disks to Hyper-V and Azure compatible VHDs or VHDX. Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Nick and this is NOB Solutions once again dropping another how-to video this time about how to convert VMware VMDK disks to Hyper-V and Azure disks which are VHD and VHDX format. So uh, Microsoft made a handy tool called uh, Virtual Machine Converter and I'm going to share the link where you can download the tool, it's free to use. In there you will see an MSI package right here, I have it on my desktop. And there will be a Word document where you can see what are the comments uh, in PowerShell if you want to do this uh, by scripting. So first I'm going to install the um, Virtual Machine Converter. And uh, for this purpose, as I don't have uh, unfortunately a VMware, uh, ESXi host uh, to connect to, I'm going to perform only the PowerShell conversion uh, of a uh, normal disk with an operating system which is currently a VMDK. If I open my um, C partition and go to NLB Node 01, you can see right here I have a virtual machine that is Node 01 which is currently VMDK format and it's around 10 uh, gigabytes in size. So first let's install the um, tool. It's really easy to achieve this. So I'm going to click install and then I'm going to pause real fast so we can continue when the tool is ready to be used. So the tool has already been installed on my computer. I'm going to click finished and when I go to my start menu and scroll down a bit it's currently not behaving. Okay, if I scroll down a bit, I should see the Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter, which is a 3.1 version. Uh, on the site, uh, I'm not sure why, but Microsoft are saying that it's 3.0, but when you install uh, the uh, machine converter, it's actually 3.1. In here, if you follow the steps, um, you will uh, be able to uh, migrate or convert a uh, virtual to virtual uh, machine or physical to virtual also known as P2V and V2V. In my case uh, I'm going to just go through really fast the uh, process. I don't have a host or two hosts which uh, I can link but if you have a VMware host and you want to migrate the virtual machines you can use these two to do it um, live. So the virtual machines can be converted directly to your Hyper-V host and they will be um, according to Microsoft notes, they will be live and running. Uh, the next step uh, is asking me if I want to convert or mi migrate to Microsoft Azure or Hyper-V. If I click Hyper-V, I have different options. You can see that uh, here I can specify which is the Hyper-V host. So uh, if I specify the local host because I have Hyper-V installed on my virtual machine and use the credentials I'll be able to connect to it. It's going to validate the credentials and it's going to ask me what is the um, uh, path that I want to store uh, the virtual disks on and you can see right here that it's asking me for a UNC path so uh, uh, you need to have a share where you can store uh, the um, the VHDs. You can convert them to fixed size, dynamically expanding, VHD, VHDX, it's dep it depends on you pretty much. Um, let me just specify quick a location. So let's say host Okay, next. And uh, here is the tricky part. It's asking to connect to a vCenter server, ESX server or ESXi. So in here you will put your um, information about the address, the credentials that you can connect to the server. And uh, next, I, unfortunately I won't be able to proceed, but it's going to ask you for the uh, virtual machine and then some other small information that you can populate and just click finish to uh, initiate the actual 
um, transfer of the virtual machines. So I'm going to click cancel on this one and for our purposes as I have an offline disk which is not currently used at the moment I'm going to use PowerShell to convert this disk using a PowerShell um, commandlet so uh, the thing that you want to do first is you want to import the commands that are installed automatically, the module that is installed automatically with the tool. And I will show you where uh, you can find it. So um, the first thing you want to do is you want to write import module and then specify the path which is it's a default path for the installation of the of the uh, tool which is program files and then Microsoft virtual machine converter and then the module is called MVM CMDLET oops MVM CMDLET let me just see what I'm missing right here. MV. Okay, let me go through the settings fast. Okay, there it is. So it's called mvmccmdlet.psd1. This is the module that contains the uh, needed commands for us to use. So I'm going to enter this and now I have available all of the commands to convert my VMDK to a VM, uh, VHD or VHDX file. So I'm going to use the command convert to VM and you can see that you have options to convert to Azure Virtual Hard Disk, P2V, P2V Virtual Hard Disk, or VHD. In my case, I'm going to use Virtual Hard Disk, but you can conf uh, c you can uh, decide to go with the OVF Open Standard for Virtual Machines if you want. But in my case, I'm going to use the Virtual Hard Disk command. And I'm going to specify the source path where I have my VMDK file, which is C colon and then NLB node 1 and then node 1 VMDK. Let me just expand this so we can see, see it better, see the whole comments. Okay, VMDK. And then I want to specify the VHD type, which is going to be either fixed, differencing, dynamic or some other different types which I'm not familiar with but I'm going to stick with dynamic hard disk because the space is currently a problem on this uh, machine so I'm going to specify dynamic hard disk and then VHD format which is going to be either VHD or VHDX in my case I'm going to specify VHDX and the final thing is I want to specify the destination path where I want my VHD um, X uh, virtual hard disk to be um, placed. So I'm going to specify the converted folder and of course if you have a shared location you can uh, possibly store it on a shared location I haven't tried if you want you can try and uh, uh, put a comment in the section below I would really appreciate this so I'm going to press enter and the uh, conversion will start and you can see that um, converting the drive which is the VMDK to dynamic VHDX will start copying from source to destination. So if I open my uh, E partition where I have the converted, you will see that uh, a new disk with the format VHDX has been created and it's currently being populated with the information from the VMDK. So I'm going to again pause the video because this is going to take five minutes at least and I'm going to continue when this is done. The nice part of uh, having the ability to pause the videos is that uh, I can go ahead and make a nice supper, uh, eat it real good and then prepare for the uh, next steps from my videos. So uh, now that the script finished successfully, uh, I've uh, converted the VMDK file into a VHDX file.
So to confirm that the VHDX file is functional, I'm going to create a new virtual machine and I'm going to um, use this VMDK file for the virtual machine. So this is NLB um, Note 01. I'm going to store the virtual machine uh, in the default location and I'm going to choose generation 1. I'm going to remove dynamic memory. Uh, let's jump a bit and add additional gig of memory I'm not going to connect it and I'm going to choose the existing virtual disk that I have which is this one so open next and finish and I'm going to just wait for everything to configure and then we can start my node 01 so let me just pull that here and power on the virtual machine and um, it's going to take some time to boot it's possible that uh, there could be few restarts but in the end I will have my virtual machine up and running on my Hyper-V instead of VMware for example so let me just see if it's going to start as I expect it to be Okay, I can see the uh, windows loading. Okay, it's getting the devices ready. So this is pretty much going to load everything that uh, Hyper-V needs to start this virtual machine like integration services and let's see um, I really need to test this into um, and using ESXi for example so we can confirm that uh, the virtual machine will be intact when uh, I migrated it from uh, Hyper-V uh, from uh, VMware I'm sorry to Hyper-V so we can confirm that uh, we can easily migrate live machines production machines uh, when needed Okay, so it is compliant. It is applying the computer settings, and few in just in just few moments, I will hopefully be able to log into my converted virtual machine. Okay, I can see the login screen right now, so I can try to log in with my credentials. Let's see if that will work and yes uh, I can see that uh, my virtual machine has successfully converted from um, VMware VMDK to a um, Hyper-V um, VHDX format you can see that uh, there is a shutdown event tracker showing that uh, the restart on the machine was not graceful but everything else should be running properly and uh, if I go ahead and open tools and fail over cluster manager because I used my node 1 if you remember from my fail over cluster video I've used node 1 to um, as a test dummy so I can confirm that the roles are migrated and everything is fine um, pretty much is going to say that uh, it's not able to connect to cluster and it's not able to start because this is a dummy virtual machine but everything else seems to be fine uh, the uh, BG info is right where I left it on the desktop so um, I think this is a success um, pretty much this wraps up wrap ups the uh, conversion from VMware to Hyper-V if you need it um, in some scenarios of course if you are working as an IT administrator this should be part of your daily tasks so I hope this uh, that this video can help you to uh, do your daily tasks this was once again Nick from NLB Solutions oh before I forget if you know any other tools you can share them in the comment section below I know that there are tools to convert um, Hyper-V virtual machines to VMware um, they are created by VMware so I'm going to check them in the future and try to reverse this operation that I did right now so thank you very much for viewing and see you soon